Limerick are back in the All-Ireland final with an awesome and impressive performance. We've really made good use of our time in terms of our preparation and try and be the best team that we can be on the 22nd. You know, the first couple of days are obviously about rest, you know, but, you know, recoveries, nowadays it's, it's not so much just taking it easy and, hang, and sitting around. You, you know, there's a thing called active recovery, which we've learned about, uh, wasn't there in my day, but, you know, it's important for these guys that they have an active recovery. They'll just do some little bit of exercise, you know. It might be only a brisk walk, it might be a swim, it might be, uh, you know, a cycle. It could be something, you know, small, but it, it's important. And sleep is hugely important and their diet is hugely important. So they're the three main things that they need to get done the first couple of days after games. And after that, then, obviously, back into the pitch. You know, we've good routines built up over the last couple of years, so everybody knows exactly what's expected of them, which is a huge uh, bonus for us. A lot of stuff going on leading to an All-Ireland final off the field, which we're trying to keep off the field. Outside of that, you also have the fact that we were going three weeks in a row. So we need that extra extra week, it's very important. Um, our route was different to Limerick's. We had kind of more of a, a the back to, our, back to the round, uh, tour of Ireland route, whereas they, they went to a more direct route. And but that's nobody, we've no one to blame for that, only ourselves. Here's a chance, here's a shot. Oh, it rebounds, back in the net. Seamus Flanagan from Fjanda, Castlemar. We weren't playing well at all. Possibly had shown a couple of signs just before half time that we were beginning to come alive, you know. Uh, we just hadn't hurled at all. You know, the basics that we would pride ourselves on just weren't there. And, you know, listen, it was bound to happen at some point that that would happen. Um, I suppose the most important thing was how we reacted to it, you know, and how the players reacted to it. And, you know, we know that we have, you know, short periods of games here in, in, in training where, you know, a team could score 1-9 in the space of seven or eight minutes. So we knew it could be done. We knew that that was not beyond our, our capacity. Um, we just needed to get moving and get hurling and get back to doing what we do, we do well. And uh, once we did that and got the first couple of scores, I think, you know, we, we all sensed that we were beginning to find our groove. And once we got into full flow, um, you know, the lads took it on from there. Kyle Hanks. Now beginning to see acres of Parky Creek, and away he goes. He started in his own half, hopping to step twice in the early, taking a shot, oh my word, a fantastic goal! Listen, it was a warning shot to us. We can't be putting ourselves into that situation too often because we, we won't come out of it. Obviously the first game against Limerick was disappointing. Here's Patrick Gorgon with the penalty. Oh, Nicky Quaid, fantastic! We did a lot of things well that day. Uh, Finished both halves quite poorly, got caught for two goals in additional time in the first half and four points in additional time in the second half. Um, but a lot of good things and I think the narrative after that game was really Cork were poor, Limerick were poorer in the context of how they can perform. But we regrouped, we had a good performance against Clare, uh, they're a really good team, that was an important win. But it was important for us to put a back to back, back to back wins together. Oceans of space opening up for Tim O'Mahony, who may go all the way! Oh, what a goal for Tim O'Mahony! We've done three now in a row. First time in, I think, in many, many years since we've done that in knockout games. And that's, that's positive. But like this is a young group. Probably a lot of people might think that they're ahead of where they thought they would be at this stage. But they're, they're developing. They have great character. They have good heart. They're in an All-Ireland final. Only two can win it. So we think we're doing some things right, obviously. But we know it's a massive game for us, a massive challenge against the best team in the country for, for many, many years. They are in obviously a tremendous place coming in of having beat Kilkenny in an All-Ireland semi-final and in the manner that they did, you know, they're obviously in a great, great place. And it's up to us now to produce our best performance that we can uh, on the day. So, listen, that's the way it should be. You know, it's an All-Ireland final. You know, the best have gotten to this particular stage and uh, it'll be a right ding-down battle, I've no doubt. As far as Shane Kingston, Kingston trying to link up with Patrick Horgan, trying to take a return and bury it! It's another one for Cork. It's a fourth ever championship goal for Shane Kingston. Shane's the same as everybody else. We genuinely don't discuss hurling. Any discussion hurling with him is here in, in, in training. We haven't discussed last Sunday's game, nor will we be leading to next Sunday's game. And I go back in, asked by the players, could I, should I go back? Obviously, decision I have to take. In, involved him and, and, and say you'll be treated like everybody else and uh, you certainly will get no break. Uh, don't want to be, you certainly won't be favoured um, but I don't want to disadvantage you either but if it comes to 50-50 call you'll probably lose most of them and, and that's the way it is and that's, that's fine and you, he either accepts that or he doesn't, he's the same as any other player and, and, and everybody knows that in the group and everybody knows 
knows and, 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 and that's not an issue. It never has been an issue. We can wrap ourselves up in, in knots about Cork if we wanted to, but you know, that won't get us anywhere. You know, we will focus completely in on our own performance now and making sure that we get ourselves right and we produce our best performance of our game plan on the day and execute it to the very best of our ability. I believe there's, there's definitely more in the tank. We've seen glimpses of it you know, at various occasions during the course of the, the season. I think uh, incrementally we've been getting better from game to game and we're going to need that, that incremental step again uh, for the next day. But we've got to go and find that. The performance we put in against, in against Dublin wouldn't have been good enough to beat Kilkenny. Um, the performance we put in against Kilkenny wouldn't have been good enough to be, would, would not, won't be good enough to beat Limerick next week. Uh, and we have to keep developing as best we can. I estimate that we'll probably need to up our performance roughly 15%. Can we do that within the two weeks? Big ask. Um, if we do, we're we'll very, very happy. I suppose our focus is being very, very honest in terms of how we perform. Um, give it our all. Represent the jersey, represent the cock public, the cock supporters, cock hurling in as best way we possibly can by giving it our all. If that's good enough, great. And if it's, if it's not, and if it's not, it's not. But, but if it is, so be it.